Hey guys, you here, Ray right here, yeah, yeah, you know, welcome to episode 74 of the GTA 5 Car Showcase Series. In this episode, we're we'll taking a look at the Vapid Saddler pickup truck. This is a freaking awesome looking, tanky feeling, huge ass truck. And I think this is the alternate version, sort of the brother of the Vapid Bobcat. They have an awful lot of similar resemblance. So, you know, we managed to find this, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to showcase this before we end up losing it because I don't really see much of this around in this game. It may not be the case for you guys, everyone's got a different game save, everyone's got a different sort of spawn timing I suppose. Because this game is really weird when it spawns, but I can tell you right off the bat this is such a heavy truck so it is pretty awkward when you're going at high speeds and trying to break in these sort of sharp corners. But it is a huge ass truck, you can just tell by the size differences from the cars that I'm driving next to. It's even slightly bigger than this uh, Range Rover, you can see by the height, slightly higher, but we're going to definitely showcase that Galivanta Baller SUV right there, which is the alternate version of the sportier, sort of the 2014 version. Um, they have the exact same name, but it, they have two different sort of designs, so um, yeah, that's pretty cool as well. So one's sort of sporty and the other one's sort of uh, casual looking, so I don't I don't even notice that at first until, until I paid close attention to the uh, front of the... Uh, Range Rover, but anyway, even the back uh, sort of lights as well, the rear lights was different. But yeah, you gotta pay co close attention because I think that's the only SUV with the exact same name but two different versions. I'm not sure, there might be other cars in the game that has different forms but the same name. Let me know if you guys do find out, but you'll see uh, this one has front grille. You can see some front grilles here, uh, but for other versions of this particular a pickup truck there there's no grill so uh, you know I know for a fact that the Vapid Bobcat has a grill in the front as well and it's more sort of the uh, headlights is flat rather than I think yeah the Bobcat itself doesn't have a front bumper I'm just trying to go towards the cost there we go let's go to this one here it's right up there I'm gonna make another u-turn again but yeah, this is, as you can see, is struggling to even accelerate right at this point because of how how much it weighs. But I'm also, yeah, so we've got a lot more cars to actually showcase. I thought we'd come to an end, end for this series, but the uh, list just keeps going with the cars that we have. So that's freaking awesome. The amount of cars that are available in this game, different forms, different types, different versions, different ones. It's just insane, the amount of... You know the amount of time they spent on this game with the variety of vehicles that they have available so that's freaking awesome for every single taste that people have some people might not like pickup trucks like this some people do you know it's, it's part of the game it's how it works you know i personally wouldn't be driving this because my patience level would just yeah it would make me rage Cause I just I just want to go fast. Everything needs to be fast paced for me, man. Coming from an FPS background, it's it needs to be fast. Otherwise, I'll just become dopey and sit there with my man titties slapping my belly while I take a shit. All right, let's so let's <laughs> see what sort of parts we have available for this. It should be quite a few. I'm excited. I may, I may not sound excited, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm kind of tired right now. It's freaking late night again. Shouldn't be doing this late night, but... Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, I'm going to go with just... Let's go with the black, man. Forget it. What's the primary colour? See, I like red. I'm going to keep it with red, so... Let's just quickly choose a uh, type of red. Oh, love red. So it looks nice, but formula red with... Parallels on top of that. You can go with a nice looking... Um, what we got here? The bleach brown, maybe? Then again, we've got some other colors. Oh yes, ultra blue. Cute, that looks very cute. All right, moving on. Suspension. You see, if I leave it as stock suspension, this will be really good for off-road. But we're just gonna go with this for now. I don't know, should I? Nah, you know what? It's questionable, man, it is questionable. Let's go with a medium. Transmission, turbo, wheels. All right, there seems to be no visual upgrades. That I'm kind of surprised because I thought because you know some some versions of this pickup truck that doesn't have the front grille. So 
that's kind of weird. Holy shit. Alright. This is sick. I want to choose a nice room for this. That won't look, make it look ugly. And it's quite tough, man. It is quite tough. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. See, I'd go with the cutter, but then again, I'll go with this. All right, there we go. And then we got the wheel color. Make that black. Slap that on. Custom. There we go. Black. Red. And then we got window tinted out. So, unfortunately, there really isn't that much visual upgrades. So, not at all, actually. So, I'm kind of disappointed. Let's wrap this up see how it sounds. Yes. You hear that? Let's unleash this shit. There's a huge pickup truck. It is huge. You may not see him at first, but when you compare it to that car next to me, it, it is. Look, oh my goodness me. It's a tank, man. Alright, it's going pretty fast. Because of this turbo, as we know, makes a huge difference. Turbo is a must. The most expensive part to upgrade when it comes to multiplayer or upgrading for mods. But it's definitely worth it. It makes a huge difference to Windows races when it comes to accelerating at the start. We know exactly what we're going to do here. I'm not going to even say it because we should all be familiar with this. I'm going to test out the aerial and... Oh, wow. Okay, obviously, as expected, we're not going to go that high with this as it is such a heavy, heavy, huge, huge-ass fucking pile of shit. So we're going to just take this down here Use Franklin's ability when it when it, when the time comes. But the uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of it's kind of weird driving this because it's so heavy and because of that the handling seems a bit weird. It's not as responsive as the other cars or other SUVs or big ass pickup trucks that we've driven. But it's going pretty damn high. Wow, we actually reached the peak of the top of that building. Can we land on top of this? Oh, un unfortunately, no, but not even a scratch. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Kind of surprised where we actually managed to reach the top there. Oh, shit. Oh, we crashed it. Poor driving, poor driving. But yeah, man, um, you can just tell. I'll show you quickly the 360 degree view of this. Pretty nice looking uh, pickup truck. So that's that. Unfortunately, yet again, no visual upgrades. I was actually... Well, kind of surprised in a way because there is quite a few parts on this already. So I thought there might be other variety of options for this to be changed. But unfortunately, no, that is not the case. So we've got more cars coming up, guys. Stay tuned for that. I'll be working on... I'm um, still working on Chat Roulette and my other series that we're running for multiplayer racing. So I'm trying, trying to balance it all as well as real life. So it, it, is, it is a huge task ahead of us, but we shall keep trying again and again to keep finding these uh, requested cars because they don't immediately show up so therefore sometimes I might be sitting there for many many hours even trying to restart the game and sometimes they just never show up so sometimes it's just about luck but I'm going to stop saying sometimes now and I'm going to end this episode with a nice view on the highway yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you need for more GTA 5 videos, and I'll see you guys soon. Check your out now. Good night, peace. Yeah! Hey guys, Shiggy here, right here, yeah, yeah, you know, welcome to episode 73 of our GTA 5 car showcase series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the, the Classier Rancher XL off-road SUV, which was highly requested within the campaign.